Today we're taking a look at some genuine JBC C210 cartridge style tips and how they compare to AliExpress clones like these Fenersi C210 tips right here that I've been using for quite some time. I'm interested to see how they compare between the two types of tips when it comes to the actual like temperature of the tips, if the genuine ones are more consistent between the two shapes or if there's not really that big of a difference. We're also gonna be taking a look at the tips themselves with the thermal camera to see like how much of the tip is actually heating because a lot of these tips, especially the smaller ones, I have a feeling don't get up to temperature at the very tips. And then we're going to be taking a look at how they sort of recover when it comes to applying heat to big ground planes like the ground pads here on this T-Con board. So without further ado, let's just get started. And let's just get these tips open and compare them physically to each other before we start using them with the uh, iron. So I got the two tip shapes that I always use, which is bent conical and the knife tip. So they just come in this little plastic package and in this little plastic holder that makes it look like a little katana. <laughs> So these are genuine JBC tips that I bought from Mobile Centrix, and these guys cost me about $60 each. So these are the C210 tips. The C245 tips cost a little bit more, like maybe $90 to $100 each, depending on the shape. So I went for the C210 tips because I really like the C210 size, and I was hoping that these would do a little bit better in terms of getting up to temperature than these Fenersi tips. So we'll see if that's actually the case. And here is the knife tip. You can see we've got the JBC logo on that one. So let's take a look at the difference between these two when it comes to their shapes. So here are the two bent conical tips. Obviously the one on the left is the used one I've been using for quite some time now. Over like a year and a half at this point. So that is the bent conical tip. You can see the one on the right, the JBC one is definitely sharper. Overall, the tip is just thinner as a whole. So I do think the JBC one is just a bit more precise, uh, which is definitely something to consider. And then just out of curiosity, again, the one on the right is the JBC tip. Uh, and you can see there is a slight difference in terms of the ends here that plug into the actual iron, but I doubt that that's going to impact any kind of functionality of these tips. And at the very end here, you can see we have a bit of a different shape. All right, then we have these knife tips, and I'm happy to see that the JBC one has a sort of wide tenable area similar to this right here. Let me just show you quickly another smaller knife tip I have. This one's actually a C245 knife tip, but I just don't really like how small the tenable area is. Or even if it's not necessarily small, it's just very like, you can see the JBC one there is more shallow, but this one here is just like kind of fat, if that makes sense. But it is worth noting that the thinnest sort of knife tip here is the JBC one in terms of the shape itself versus any of the three clones I have here. So yeah, worth noting. But let's start with the difference between these two Fenersi tips I have here on the tip thermometer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calibrate this iron here for the Fenersi tips, and we are going to compare the difference between the two tip shapes, both still the Fenersi brand, but the two tip shapes, and we're gonna see at three different temperatures, we're gonna see at 300, 375, and 425, we're gonna see how close it gets between the uh, two tip shapes here. So I'm gonna calibrate these here, and then we're gonna do the same thing for these uh, JBC tips and sort of compare the difference. So I'm gonna go through this calibration process here. I've got a brand new uh, K-type sensor on here, and we'll see how this goes. And I'm calibrating both of these here with the um, knife tip first because I'm expecting the bent conical tip here to underperform a little bit just due to the fact that it doesn't have as much surface area as the knife tip here does. So here we go, we've got this calibrated here. So let's go back here and test 300 with the knife tip. So we're spot on, we're at like 300. All right, then we're gonna do 375 here. Again, ridiculously close here. We're getting to, we'll call that 370. Two. And then let's do 425 here. All right, and this is at like 410. Yeah, 410. All right, so same tests now with the Finerci bent conical tip. We'll go back down to 300. Again, spot on, this is 299. Perfect. Let's go up to 375 now and see what this gets. 372, not bad at all. And then 425, 413. Cool, so those actually did way better than I thought they would, to be honest with you. So now I'll calibrate the iron one more time with the JBC knife tip. All right, I got this calibrated, so let's try at the 300 mark here and see what we get. So we're gonna about 305 here for the knife tip. What about at 375? Pretty spot on, 375. And then at 425 here, we get 423. So now the JBC bent conical, and it looks like it's only getting up to 280 at 300. So let's go up to uh, 375 now. And we're getting to 344 with that one. And now 425, we're only getting to 385. 
So kind of far off with the JBC bent conical, honestly. Not too sure why this uh, JBC bent conical is so far off from the knife tip. Not gonna lie, the Fernersi tips take the W in this particular test because they are definitely closer to each other when it comes to each of the temperature readings. Uh, the JBC knife tip, once calibrated, was doing really well actually with the station. But as soon as we switched to this bent conical, it definitely was not getting up to temperature as much as the Fernersi one. All right, so we can put the tip thermometer Way. So next I'm interested in how evenly these tips sort of heat. So I'm going to clean these tips as much as possible. Here is the Fenersi knife tip. I'm not entirely sure why the bottom area is showing up as hotter than the tip itself. It's possible that those bottom areas are just reflecting or something for the thermal camera, but I'm mostly interested in seeing how uniform the color is on the tip. But anyways, that's the Fenersi knife tip. Let's switch to the JBC knife tip at the same temperature here. So I'm just cleaning it again. And here is the JBC one. Again, I can't really see too much of a difference outside of the fact that the body seems to be sort of more of a similar temperature to the tip. Honestly, can't see a huge difference here between the two. You can see the tip temperature is pretty uniform. I'm actually a little bit more curious about the bent conical tips. So this next one here is the Finerci bent conical. And let's actually get real up close to the uh, tip itself. So there is the Finerci bent conical right there. You can see it's actually pretty uniform. It's maybe a little bit hotter at the tip actually than the part of the tip that's closer to the iron handle. And now let's check out the JBC bent conical. Again, honestly, not a huge difference in terms of the uniformity of the heat on the tip. It seems very similar between the JBC and the Fenersi to be honest. Next, we're gonna use this big ground plane on the T-Con board here with the thermal camera. And we're gonna see how well the tips recover in terms of temperature um, with the thermal camera. So let's compare the uh, knife tips again. So here's the Fenersi at 425 degrees. And I don't see any huge difference in terms of the color of the tip. We do have a 6% thing popping up at the bottom here. Maybe that's how much power it's using. I, I don't really quite understand, but as far as I can tell with the thermal camera, there's not really any difference. Let's try now with the JBC knife tip. Here's the JBC knife tip. All right, and this one has shown up as eight or 9%, but again, I don't really see any difference at all when it comes to the thermal camera here. So let's try with the Fenersi bent conical tip. I think because of the solder, you can't really see a huge difference when it comes to the thermal camera. Um, that's shown up as 3% on the station there, but yeah, there you go. And now the JBC bent conical. You can kind of see the tip change color a little bit there when we put it on the board. Uh, I don't know if that's just the solder getting in the way. No, you can definitely see the tip uh, change color there on the thermal camera when I touch the ground plane. I think for some reason this bent conical from JBC is struggling to uh, stay at temperature. I'm not too sure why. But we saw that with both the temperature tests and also this little thermal camera test. That was the only difference I saw. The knife tips were almost exactly the same in terms of how they looked. But the JBC bent conical tip definitely seemed to struggle a bit when we were testing with that big ground plane on the T-Con board. So the last thing I wanna test with these two guys is the resistance readings because there's actually two different kinds of cartridge style tips. One of them is 2.5 ohms and the other one is 5.5 ohms. And I think the lower resistance across this sort of heating element here is going to be able to use more wattage from the station. So let's just see out of curiosity what the resistance reading of this JBC tip is. So this is gonna be the 2.5 ohm one. Uh, what about this one here? This is the knife tip from JBC. Again, we've got 2.5 ohms. Uh, and then what about the Fenersi ones? 2.18, so th these are like the same. Yeah, so this knife one here is 2.3 or whatever. So these are essentially the same in terms of how much power the heating element within these tips are capable of using. It's possible that 2.5 ohms might be standard for the C210 tips and that the only deviation is when it comes to the uh, C245 tips. So uh, my consensus here is like, I don't really see a huge difference between the JBC ones and the Fenersi ones. I know a lot of people are gonna mention longevity of the tips. I'm not gonna lie, I've had these for over a year. It's been about like one and a half years that I've had these particular tips. 
both the C210 and C245 tips, both of which I've used extensively, especially these two shapes, the knife and the bent conical, are really my only go-to tip shapes. And these are anywhere from three to four times as expensive as these guys. When you start talking about the C245 tips, they become about five to six times as expensive. So for me, these JBC tips would have to last more than four times as long as these guys in order for that to be worth it to buy these $60 tips or $100 tips when it comes to the C245 tips. And honestly, after using these Finerci tips, nearly every day for one and a half years, they are still completely fine. And I think these will be fine for years to come, to be honest, especially with how well I take care of my tips. If you're curious about how I take care of my iron tips and how I keep them for so long, I'll have a video linked in the description where I talk through uh, my tip care routine and why I do this particular routine with my tips. Uh, so I'll have that link in the description. But yeah, I honestly really don't see the appeal to the JBC tips. Obviously these tests weren't like extremely extensive but I think for me, they are applicable to the kind of work I'm doing with them. If you guys feel like this was an unfair comparison, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. If you guys are looking for some relatively affordable C245 or C210 tips, I'll have links in the description to these furniture tips as well as the JBC ones uh, if you're interested. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.